draws down, the veteran population goes up. And although the economy is a little bit better, uh, finding the right kind of jobs and housing for those veterans that are in need is still very, very difficult. What we hope to accomplish is to provide them with all the provider services that might take them up to a year to get within the next two days. We have 60 service providers. Now that could be somebody from the Registry of the Motor Vehicles, from the Department of Labor, from the Department of Transitional Assistance. We have social workers here. We have people to help provide accommodations and housing. We have people who help provide mental health, health services, wellness services, haircuts. It just goes on and on and on the list. Good afternoon, veterans and those who love this is the biggest event that we've had to provide services in two days to veterans and their families. And we could not possibly get this done without all the goodwill of the community and the service providers that have come here to help us. TJX and Veterans Inc. has actually enjoyed a very long relationship. We've been supporting them in many of their events for a number of years. We also have pledged to hire 3,000 veterans between 2013 and 2018, and we're halfway there, but we know that jobs is just a piece of the puzzle. And the services that are provided here at Veterans Inc. is what completes the puzzle of things that veterans need to get back into society.